is up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new it's been a full week since i saw you last and i am back again with a ramble this time i'm trying to make the algorithm work for me <laughs> and it's not so, figure we'll go back to um, something that's what I normally do and um, maybe spice it up a little bit. I tried to get um, my lighting situated so that it's a little bit brighter and better. Um, I'm sitting in front of the window now, so there's some daylight, which is cool. Um, I also am obviously yeah, I'm sitting in front of the window, so it's a different orientation. Um, you can obviously tell that that's the case, considering I have the closet door and my um, UFO poster behind me. Um, so yeah, what what happened in my life? <laughs> so I actually applied to go back to school <laughs> to get my associate's degree. Yeah, but 
temperature is just not good um, for low light. So, eventually, once I have a lot more money, I will be buying a um, DSLR camera. Because I currently just record on a, like, point and shoot. SLRs, but for now this is what we have to work with, and I am just, I was just sick and tired of all the grainy footage I was putting out, honestly, so uh, I just bit the bullet and we're really cramped in here right now, but <laughs> I hope this is better quality um, footage, I think it's going to be, but I'm going to be really sad if it's not, because <laughs> um, I had, I was holding my ring light up earlier much right to my face and I was able to get really good quality then I just I don't know this camera's just not good for low light and I guess it's never really thought it'd be um filming in low light and I'm not, it's not really even low light in here that's the thing it's like pretty bright it's just all of it's very subdued it's not like very direct lighting it's all kind of scattered and this camera really needs like direct lighting like reflecting off of my face back into the lens or else it just doesn't it doesn't do very well so i don't know like i said i was just sick of giving you guys poor poor video quality because when i was living in boise that was just like the prime spot to record i was right in front of that window because i'd get all of this daylight come through and it would just light up the lens and everything it would just it was just the sweet spot for this camera so hopefully this will get at least most of the way there we'll see but yeah so i guess i'll let you know what i've been doing this past week other than the um, applying for school i also um we went up to seattle for a couple of days we came back yesterday um it's uh, Peyton's birthday today, and so we decided to go up to Seattle for a couple days and just go um, do some touristy stuff. We went up in the Space Needle, and we went to the, um, the it's a Mopop is what it's called, but it's the Museum of Pop Culture. I think it used to be like the, more of like a music museum, but um, so yeah, we went there, and then we also went to this, um, glass blowing museum, which has all these different, like, blown glass sculptures and stuff, which was pretty cool. And we went to the Seattle Aquarium, and as well as Pike Place Market, of course. And in Pike Place Market, we actually went to this coffee shop, which is um, actually an Alaskan coffee chain. It's called Galati Brothers Coffee. So we went and got coffee from there, because obviously we're all from Alaska, so it was nice to, you know, have a piece of home there, which is cool. So if you live in the Seattle area, um, go check out uh, Kaladi Brothers Coffee. It's on Pike Street. Um, it's next to, I think it's across the street from the Starbucks Reserve, um, which we also went there, which was, that was really cool. It was pretty expensive, but it was cool. Cloudy Brothers Coffee. If you live in Seattle, go try it. Tell me what you think of Alaskan coffee. Um, so we went there, and then yesterday, we went to the zoo. After we went to the Starbucks Reserve. Um, so the Starbucks Reserve is like, it's this place where they actually, um, it's where they roast all of their beans and stuff. And it has these big old like drums and they have these different craft coffees and stuff there. I got this, um, it was a nitro cold brew that was aged in a whiskey barrel. Um, it was very good. Um, and it had like a, this, I think like a egg white, like meringue kind of cream on the top of it. And um, freshly grated nutmeg over the top. It was very, very high class coffee for sure. Um, it tasted like really good whiskey without the alcohol. Um, obviously with 
have like a coffee flavor and then I had the cream on top and it was um, I think I spent
I was not able to go to um, Port Angeles, which was where my mom was born, and that was a place I wanted to go check out. It's not like a super exciting place or anything, but I thought it'd be cool. It's very, very pretty there, though. Um, it's sitting right on the edge of the uh, Olympic National Park, um, and there's just this huge mountain range. It's just a little co coastal city with a huge mountain range right behind it. Um, it looks very much like coastal Alaska, so I wanted to see that, but that's okay. Um, that's a pretty long drive from Seattle. That's like another three-hour drive just to get there. And then you'd have to go back through, I think. Well, no, I guess you can kind of drive around the Olympic Peninsula and then just go south. And then go down through Portland and then go back home. But either way, it was really cool. And um, I'm glad I got to see it. So... Uh, Next time, though, I do want to go up to Port Angeles. Just that, that Olympic Peninsula area is gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful place. Um, as you can tell, my roommates are home. And we have company over right now, but I'm just kind of going with the flow. Seeing, seeing what I can get in in terms of a little ramble here. I'm not too concerned about it. Um, none of you really mentioned that the voices in the background are super obstructive or anything. And also, I feel like my whispering's pretty close up right now. And I think I'm kind of blocking some of the background noise, <laughs> just with my back. So, I also put a hoodie underneath my door to kind of help mitigate some of the sound. <laughs> so hopefully that's helping a little bit. Um, but yeah. I really should have tested this, um, the camera quality in this little, this lighting setting here before I started filming, but I think it'll be just fine. It's not super even, just because there is some shadows and stuff coming from the ring light onto the microphone and then onto my face, but that's okay, though. We're doing the best we can with what we've got, right? Um... I mean, that's really pretty much all that's been going on the past week. Um, my past couple videos just haven't been doing super well. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm trying to make some slightly different, a little more interesting content. Because um, my videos had been, you know, kind of slowing to a roll for a little while, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> um, so I was just like, uh, let's pivot a little bit. Let's try something different. Um, and that wasn't really working out. So I was like, well, let's let's go back to what I normally do and maybe try and um, just switch up the you know the scenery slightly. Try to make the lighting a little bit better. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of doing what I can. <laughs> I just, I really need and appreciate your guys' feedback. Any feedback you can give me, just please let me know anything that you want to see. And I will do um, what I can to um, make that happen. <laughs> um, if there's something that's, you know, not like, if you're just not feeling it, just let me know, you know. And I will try something else out um, next week. I'm kind of thinking of playing Minecraft <laughs> and recording that, um, just like whisper over it, you know. Um, I think that might be kind of fun, a little bit different thing for us to do, so let me know your thoughts on that. Um, I'll probably end up doing it anyways, but <laughs> um, just because it sounds like fun. Um, I like playing Minecraft sometimes, so, because I am a giant two-year-old, well, giant Uh, 
just has to do with um, just adapting, you know, and changing with the community. Um, I've been watching, you know, other ASM artists and whatnot, and it doesn't seem like they're doing anything super different from what I've been doing, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> just a little, a little bit at a loss lately. Um, just being up front with you guys, but, but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching every video I put out, <laughs> the ones who do. <laughs> um, you guys are awesome, and wouldn't trade you for the world. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I'm just like, mm, I just don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's the algorithm. It feels like I'm being like shadow banned almost, if that makes sense. <laughs> That's almost kind of the feeling. <laughs> Sorry about the camera shake there for a second. I accidentally kicked my tripod. Um, as, as I said before, I'm in a pretty tight space right now, so it's uh, not ideal, <laughs> to say the least. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I've been missing my dog lately. He's in Alaska because he lives with my parents because he's my childhood dog <laughs> so um but i don't know I miss having a dog around me right now <laughs> every time i call my mom she's always <laughs> she's always getting on him about something <laughs> he's just a stubborn dog sometimes he's such a doofus um his name is axel he's 100 percent yellow lab in breed and in stupidity <laughs> Um, he's 10 years old and has the energy of a five-year-old dog. Except his hips are all worn out, so <laughs> he wants to get up and go and do everything, but he can't because of his hips. Um, yeah, he's got arthritis in his hips, and he's got missing teeth, and <laughs> he's got a skin infection right now. He's just a, a pain sometimes, because he just goes and gets and stuff that he's not supposed to get into. And obviously he doesn't know better to not do that, so then we had to deal with it. <laughs> but yeah, he's a good dog. He's just kind of dumb. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like that's how labs are. If you're a lab owner, you know what I'm talking about. Like, they're just, like, they're very happy, you know, very, very friendly, very family-friendly, good with the kids dog. Except for my dog, I don't know, he doesn't like kids, but in general they're good with kids, but, but they're just stupid, <laughs> like they're just doofuses, like they're very smart, obviously, but they just do dopey things, like, I don't know, I, I love dogs, um, but yeah, I've just been missing my dog lately, I need to see him again this year, because he's not going to be around forever, obviously, he's getting older. He's going to be 11 this year, so, yeah, I just want to be able to go see him. Uh, I don't know. It's going to suck when he dies, but, but that's life. And it's normal for dogs to move on from this life and do the next. <laughs> All dogs go to heaven, right? <laughs> Got to cross that rainbow bridge <laughs> in the sky. He's a good dog, he just, he just does dumb things, obviously. He goes and rolls in rabbits, and he goes and gets in this pond. Um, and obviously ponds aren't exactly the, the best thing to swim in. <laughs> Stagnant, gross water. So he gets ear infections. They're actually yeast, infection, yeast infections in his ears. So they smell terribly. <laughs> so he just stinks all the time. <laughs> He's just a um, but yeah, and it's just funny hearing my mom complain about him on the phone. Um, he just stinks all the time. But yeah, because you can give him a bath, but he will go and roll in something or go swimming, and he's not supposed to. He just doesn't care. So my mom's actually thinking of fencing in the backyard so that he has to stay in the backyard. <laughs> 
I don't know. I really don't know what to keep talking about right now. I'm really hungry. <laughs> um, what'd you guys do this week? Please let me know in the comments. Um, I think I'm going to get ready to wrap this video up. Um, yeah, just because I'm starving, I need to go eat something. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications of future uploads. If you, um, if you want to, you can check out my Patreon. Um, it's three bucks a month starting. Um, but yeah, go ahead and check that out if you're interested. No pressure. But yeah, thank you guys, as always, so much for watching. Um, and I will see you.